Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's April Newly Me here if you are new, but if you're one of my subbies, hey YouTube bestie. So I am kicking off the month with a monthly grocery haul. I am doing a pickup at Ralph's today. Um, I hope you guys can hear me the air is on because it's already like 10,000 degrees at 11.30 in the morning. But yeah, so I'm starting off this grocery haul with a Ralph's pickup. I live fairly close to the store, so as soon as we get back home, I will lay everything out and tell you how many thousands of dollars I spent on this small grocery haul. This cost me $60.82. Stuff getting crazy. Like my last haul, Tony is out of town. I promise you she lived together. I promise we promise you we were really married. She's out of town for the next week, so wasn't really any major damage. I have a lot of meat. If you guys don't know, you'll be seeing in this video, I get a meat subscription box called Butcher Block. So my protein is always stocked up in the freezer. But anyway, starting off with these Star Kiss, what, Star? kiss wild caught light tuna in water ignore my nails so i got three of these i'm gonna go really heavy on salads this week because it is too daggone hot to cook like it's just too much if you don't want to get the cans this is great it's a single portion i use the whole thing on a salad it's perfect i don't have to deal with a can opener boom it's great plus they um have a really long shelf life let me zoom out a little bit then i got this Green onion dip, this is my favorite, favorite dip. You just mix this with sour cream, sorry I went blank. And I also cut up green onions and put them in mine. Bomb chow, but anyway. Got this for snacking on with some chips. I got some olives. Also, another thing I like to get in a pouch just because I'm the only one in this house that eats olives. I say that like we have 10 kids. It's just me and Tony, but I'm the only one that eats olives. So sometimes when I don't wanna splurge on a whole can or a whole jar of olives, this is a great fix and these are really good. I got a bell pepper. I only got one because I have a green and a yellow one in the refrigerator, but I needed a red. This will go on salads plus whatever I cook. You know I always have bell peppers. I have one head of broccoli for me. Again, I already told you about the onions. So that's going to go for salads and with my dip. Hold everything, y'all. This is the best cheese. It's the Cracker Barrel Vermont Sharp White. I love it. I got it for snacking on and also to crumble in my salad. So good. Cherry tomatoes. I like to fry these with my eggs in the morning plus for salads. I got the shredded carrots for salads. Also, I'm going to do a stir fry. That's what these are for also. I got some burger buns. I have some burger patties in the butcher box that I want to finish this week. So I got some of those. Got some romaine lettuce. I might have to go out and get some more, but this is two heads. So I may or may not because I'm going to go really heavy with my salads this week, y'all. So anyway, I got the sour cream for my dip. I got this rice vinegar. It's right there on the bottle, April, to go for my stir fry. I got some chips, plain lane chips. Whenever I have onion dip, I have to dip it in plain potato chips. Like I can't have a flavored chip. Like it's just doing way too much in my mouth. I have to just have a regular chip. And I got my favorite dressing, which is the Kern Steakhouse Simply Vinaigrette Italian. I could drink this, y'all. So good. I marinate chicken in this. Have it on my salads. It's just bomb. This is Sam's Club. Tony got this as well as a thing of paper towels. So I completely forgot to film it, but this is um, the Quaker Oats Old Fashioned. Tony eats oatmeal 99.9% .9 of the time in the morning. This is her breakfast. This lasts us forever as you can see it's um two bags of five pounds she also does a lot of baking so this is really good for our household and it's really affordable for the amount that you get i also got this not my usual soap but this was a free gift um for value customers so i'm not passing up anything free and y'all know i love bath wash and this one i think will probably be good because i normally am a creamy girl i love the um method i think it's like shea butter rice water and coconut oil that is just divine but in the summertime when it's super hot like this i love stuff like this you know so i'll i'll report back on how i like this but i think it'll be good it's the hydrated formula 
I also got these crystal light fruit pouches. I think I will like this. I tried the strawberry. Hold on, let me show you. I got these last week and they were okay. I kind of have to like let my ice cubes melt in them for, you know, me to be able to drink it, drink it because they are very, very sweet. Even though it's like sugar-free, caffeine-free, it's extremely sweet to my taste buds. So I'm trying out this one. I mean, it's kind of hard to mess up a fruit punch. So I'm hoping I like this one more. I mean, I don't mind doing this one, but if I can get a flavor that I really like, which I'm hoping these are, um, it'd be better. I'm trying to drink way more water. Um, I usually drink a bottle, one bottle of water a day as far as regular water. Then the rest of my waters, I have to put this in it. I know I sound crazy. Stop judging me. I am trying. Okay, so I got that. And then I got two Hungry Man dinners. I love to keep frozen meals in my freezer. No, this is not healthy. I usually don't even eat the brownie because, like, it's always weird. But this is something go to. Don't feel like cooking. I only have me in the house boom easy peasy i usually keep these in the freezer for like almost a month i just had um the last one i bought in the last month's grocery haul you know it's always good to keep, keep like keep stuff like this in your freezer anyway that's the first portion of the haul stay tuned for what comes next okay y'all this is the second portion of the grocery haul first off Shout out to my spouse, Tony, who let me sleep in and went to pick up the grocery pickup at Ralph's. I know I said I was probably going to go to Aldi's or Trader Joe's, but that wasn't the case just because Tony's been traveling so much for business. We didn't really need that much. So I just did another order at Kroger, aka Ralph's, but she knew I was super tired and let me sleep in and she went and picked it up because I am spoiled and married to the best person. Anyway. So we're jumping into this haul and y'all, if you see this before my coup before my digital coupons, this was 80 something dollars, okay? Keep that in mind when we go over what the heck I just bought. Just to start off for non-food related items, this was my free gift. If you shop at Ralph's a lot, they usually track what you order and they'll give you something for free and are super cheap half off. So this was my free gift and this soap is really good. I really usually don't like this brand, the soft soap, but this actual moisturizing body wash and this scent, super good. This is the only one I like that is made by this brand. I also needed another candle. I like to have at least four or five of these on deck. As you guys may or may not know, if you've been following me for a while, my spouse has a very sensitive nose. So there's only certain ones that I can buy that won't irritate her. This is one of them. I also got some of these Kroger electric toothbrushes. These are Tony's favorite. She doesn't really like this color, but she needed two more because she travels so much and you're know, supposed to switch out your toothbrushes. So got a two pack of those. I did order a pack of chicken breasts, but as I can see by the stickers, buy one, get one free with card. So they gave me another one, which was really cool. I got some asparagus. I love love asparagus asparagus for me is top three favorite vegetables so whenever i see um fresh asparagus on the app i get it so got some of that i got three the tri bell pepper bags i usually don't get these and i try to get the ones that you know you get out of the bin but the last i want to say two to three times when i cut into them they've been moldy which i don't know what that's about it's super gross and it irritates me because y'all know i cook Dang near everything with bell peppers. So hopefully I won't have that same problem here. If I do, you know, I'm gonna get my Karen on and I'm gonna go cause a ruckus at the store. But anyway, I got one sweet potato because I'm the only one that eats sweet potatoes, but I just wanted a roasted sweet potato for some reason. I'm just been craving it. So I got this. I got three white potatoes when I roast my sweet potato. Tony will have these for a side. I got this sad sweet onion. I don't know why they would pick this one. Look at it. It just looks pitiful, but I'll cut around it and use the good parts, I guess. I got this Crackle Barrel Vermont Sharp White. It is so good. I shouldn't have got it because this will probably be gone within a week. I'll eat this myself. This is so addicting. These um, olives, these are actually really good. And the reason why I always get this pouch is because when I get the big jars, I always let them go to waste. Again, I'm the only one that eats this. So I'm just going to get these pouches from now on. Large brown edge, cage-free, simple truth eggs. Love these. Tony got these 
this uh, Minute Maid Zero Sugar Fruit Punch. I think it tastes like watered down Gatorade, but Tony likes it. All of her drinking products, if it's not water, it's zero sugar. So, and she also puts these in her um, smoothies in the morning. Raw tail off uh, peel extra or jumbo shrimp for dinner one night. I got some whipped cream for my coffee and my favorite coffee mate. I have tried different coffee creamers, y'all, especially the ones I see everyone get, and it's, it, they don't hit. They do not hit like the regular vanilla coffee mate. Now, keep in mind this little bit of stuff I got was coming up as 80 something dollars and I had $16 worth of digital coupons that made this $67. I don't even think this should be $67, okay? This is my butcher box order. Um, the order is incorrect. I've already gotten off the phone with customer service and I'm getting a really nice discount on my next two boxes because the order was wrong. So what I did order were these scallops. Now I think I've tasted these probably a once in my life and I didn't care for them, but I read up on them and it's basically, they're kind of like tilapia. Whatever you season them with, they'll take on that taste more than anything because it's a very bland seafood. So I'm gonna give it another try because you know I don't know my season like me, sis. But we're gonna give these a try. I wanna try these, Tony wants to try them. She's never had them, so yeah. I think I can make this something I like. Got some shrimp. We love shrimp in this house. We're big on seafood in this house. If you haven't noticed, there's always like two to three seafood items in my freezer at all time. I got this sweet ground Italian pork. Love this. I was not a fan in my in the past. Um, I was gonna say my past life. <laughs> Y'all, anyway, I was not a fan of sweet Italian pork in my in the past. I like spicy pork, but when I season it. The little off kick of the sweetness it just does something and we always have pasta in this house too so it's good to have these in the freezer i also am going to try ground chicken never had it but i'm gonna make some enchiladas instead of using ground turkey which is super bland i'm gonna try ground chicken i'm gonna give these another go which are the um salmon buzz right there in front of you girl Anyway, I'm going to give this salmon a try. I didn't care for it that much because it had bones, but there's like a shortage on everything around where I stay. So, yeah. Here's where Butcher Box got me effed up. So, as you can see, these are the, they're upside down, but it's the grass-fed beef sirloin tips. Now, I have no problem with these. These are actually really good. I use them in beef stroganoff. I use them in a beef um, fajita dish. Really good tender cut of meat. I like this. However, I didn't order it. When I sit down at the beginning, or actually the end of the previous month, and I make my grocery list and my menus, it goes based upon my proteins, and that's my butcher box. I get all my meat from butcher box, so when you just throw stuff in my box that I didn't want or order, it messes up everything else because I've already done shopping at the other grocery stores to go along with meals based on what's on my box. So that's what happened. I'll figure it out, but I didn't order this, nor did I want it. We're gonna eat it, cause hello. But I didn't order this, but got this. I also did not order chicken breast. What I ordered was ground turkey. They, they said they subbed these out because they didn't have the free ground beef, which I get with my subscription. But anyway, this is my butcher, bo butcher box order. If you're interested in butcher box after I just gave them this little bad review, there is a referral code in the description box always. I, this is not a sponsored video. I just get a small discount when you use my referral code and you get a discount when you use my referral code. But anyway, let's go on. Okay, and then this is all of my Trader Joe's haul. So I got a little bag of salad just to have like, sometimes I don't wanna make vegetables or cook vegetables. So I like to have a little bit of salad um, our lettuce in my refrigerator. I got this instead of the big romaine just because we've been going a lot of places on the weekend and out to dinner on the weekend. So I don't want the lettuce to go bad. So I just got this bag and I think it's a mixed, yeah, herb salad mix, organic. These are only 99 cents and it's like a handful of the green olives. I like olives on my salad. I snack on them with cheese, like just to have a little pouch. Got those seen these these may be new or they're just new to me but i'm i live in the frozen food section sorry about me being ashy y'all i've been doing some cleaning but anyway i live in the frozen food section i have not seen these before i love brussels sprouts brussels sprouts so definitely gonna roast these up as a side one night then i got some frozen fruit 
I only got the organic strawberries just because Tony usually gets the organic berry mix where it has like blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and strawberries. But for some reason, they did not have them. So this is the um, frozen fruit that didn't have the most added sugar. So hopefully she'll be okay with this. I did get pineapple chunks for me, y'all. First of all, for two reasons. Hello, it's pineapple. Y'all know it's my second favorite fruit behind cherries. So this is my liquid iron that I take on a daily basis. It's from Amazon. I think it only costs 10, 15 bucks. It really has been helping me feel better. I don't feel as tired, shortness of breath, stuff like that. When you are anemic, it's really, it's really good to have iron outside of natural iron. The liquid hits the system, y'all. Like I feel better right after the same day I take it, I feel better, but it tastes like a foot, okay? It tastes disgusting. So Tony made me a smoothie last week and she put the, the same drop amount that I take like in a shot glass or I try to just take out of the um, little dropper. She put in the smoothie and I really couldn't taste it that much. So I figured the sweeter the fruit is, cause Tony be getting this organic, no sugar added, no flavor stuff. I'm fine with, with flavor, okay? I'm fine with added sugar, add it. But I thought if I get pineapple, which is naturally just way, way, way sweet, I won't taste it at all. So I'm gonna try that. I got Tony's turkey jerky. And y'all, look who's back. First of all, I threw a complete tantrum. Really, but not really. In my heart, I didn't like act like a Karen at the store. But I threw a complete tantrum when I didn't see my ghost pepper chips the first month. Then when I went back for my second month, I had to ask the manager, I was like, what's going on? I know y'all did not discontinue my chips. And he was like, you're the 10th person to ask me. They're on back order. We're getting them back in stock, but they're just on back order like everything else. So I was fine. He was really nice about it. He was probably like, girl, relax. I got Tony's chicken tiki masala. masala? Masala, my bad. I got five of them because Babe really likes these. And the last time she went to Trader Joe's, they didn't have them in stocks so now they're back. So I got five of them. She eats these once in a blue moon or on a Saturday if I'm out with my friends or doing something. This is something she heats in the oven with her garlic naan bread and she can call it a day. I also got me some tamales, which I'm about to heat up and have my lunch because I am hungry. I got the cheese and green chili tamale, which is my favorite tamale fresh, frozen, what have you. This is my favorite. And then I got the chicken and cheese, which is my second. I really don't like beef tamales that much. Yeah, I really don't. But anyway, this is my Trader Joe's haul. This is the end of the video. Again, just to reiterate, because I always get questions, I do not just shop once a month. I get a butcher box order, which has all my meat and protein. And then I usually hit up Trader Joe's once a month and Sam's Club once a month. And then I will fit pick up fresh produce from Kroger aka Ralph's so it's not like I shop just one day in the whole month I just make one store trip a month if that makes sense but anyway thank you guys so much for watching hit that subscription button if you enjoyed this content and I'll see you guys next time bye